Okay, what I'm going to do now is change a few of the attributes about this point light so that we have a, uh, a little more moody looking room. I'm going to first, I'll look over an attribute editor and I'm going to open shadow so we'll have a cast of shadows. But first, let's just look at how it looks without uh, the cast shadows. I'm going to go to render view <coughs> and I'll. Uh, just render this view as it is. So I go to render and then perspective. And so you get a feel for how this looks. This is just with that basic uh, point light in. Now I'll close that. And now I'm going to change a few things. I'm going to use the shadows area in my attribute. I'll open that back up. And I'm going to say use depth shadow map so that's going to create some shadows for us and then I'm going to go up into intensity and drop that intensity down to 0.3 instead of having it at 1 and next thing I'm going to do is create a spotlight what I'll do here is go up to create back to light and then down to spotlight and I'm going to click that right there my spotlight will be created here and I'll see because I have my move tool I'm going to open up uh, the manipulator so that I can see all of the attributes of the spotlight manipulator so I'll go over here and show manipulator and I'll click on this now what this does is gives me the capability I'm going to move this out just a little and turn it over to have a spotlight that is here and a handle to show where the spotlight is actually pointing. So I'm going to point this light up, and I'm going to do. A, I'm going to pop this window so that I can see a four-pane view. I think I'll get rid of the attribute editor right now, and I'm going to click on my panels and go to layout and go to four panes and I want to do a uh, front view and top view and side view. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to check the angle of this um, light. So I'm going to pull it out, pull out at the top, pull out at the side and now I can see for instance in this top view that I need to straighten this point, this spotlight up some and I think also what I'll notice here is if I look at this in this view I probably need to pull the spotlight up a little bit in order for it to actually show so I'm going to click it there and going to pull out a little bit and I'm going to pull my spotlight up some and I think I'll do this by using this handle and I'll pull that up a little bit now I'm going to pop open my perspective window again a little bit more and uh, we'll render this on the next one.